to start out? You want to start? I'll start. Or we can continue with the music. Welcome back, everyone, to the Weekly Flare. Thanks for joining us. Chris, what's something on this show that is very near and dear to our hearts? Technology. Technology. And what's something I've been saying about technology for a long time? Technology will advance and get better. Man. And be part of the human body. It's like you've been painted. Well, I don't know about that part, <laughs> but... Chris, what do we think about batteries? Um, batteries suck at times. Batteries are the worst. They are the worst. They're the worst. Chris, what if I told you these guys, these, this team from the Netherlands, have come up with a solar-powered car that can go over 600 miles on a single charge? I would be absolutely surprised. Well, it's true. I would want to buy one. It's true. It's true. They did it. Australia. No, the Netherlands. Oh, Netherlands. Netherlands? The Netherlands? Netherlands? I don't, I don't know. know. Now I don't know. We just offended all the From that place. From the neither place. They came up with this car, okay, so it's a solar power car, okay? It's got a solar panel on top of it. Okay. And it actually produces more power in a year than it uses. So they say. Wow. Now, check this out. On a single charge, it can go about 680 something miles. All right? That's pretty good. It's pretty good. It's got like this little wind tunnel in the center of it, mm -hmm. you know, to create less drag. So this team a couple years ago, they also competed in um, a competition in Australia called like the World Solar Challenge. They're competing again this year. They're trying to take the top prize again. So they're gonna see if they can do it twice because they won last time. They're gonna try and win again. The only thing is they have to make it about like 900 and something miles up before Ooh. they can get their recharge. Okay. It's like 1800 something miles. They have to make it halfway before they can stop and recharge. That's like one of the things. So they got a few hundred more miles to go, but uh, 600 miles on a solar charge, that is amazing. That is pretty good. And obviously like everyone else like in this competition is probably also doing amazing stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But this thing has four seats. It can hold four people. Road trip. And go 600 and something miles. Now, is this a certain, they can't go over a certain speed limit and stuff in the gas at a certain rate? Um, I don't think the race, I mean, part of the race is probably getting there the fastest. But when you're on solar, like, it's really more about being efficient and actually getting there. Okay. Is the biggest challenge right now, because it's so long. So, here's the thing with this solar-powered car. It has, uh, it's internet connected, so it's like a smart car. It has a GPS that has solar navigation. Okay. So your route, instead of just taking the quickest route, you can actually have it take you the most solar efficient route so you get the most charge while you're driving. So instead of just being like, hey, I'm going to drive to the mall, take me the quickest way, it could be like, hey, you know what? It's looking like it might be cloudy the way I normally go, take me the most solar efficient way. Okay. You know, take you the way that you can get the most charge while you're driving. Now get this. Even if it's like cloudy, they still said they were able to get like 600 something miles. So it's, it's pretty good. It's yeah. mostly the battery. It's a very efficient car. They should get in. Uh, that solar panel is also very efficient. Yes. Apparently. They should get with that guy who did the bike. And they should yes. somehow put a wind turbine in it. You know who else they should get with? Airplanes. Yes. Airplanes. Yes. Yeah. I don't know if that would be safe. No, but it would be awesome. Yes. It would not be safe though. But it would be so cool. It would be better. It would be awesome. Mm -hmm. Solar-powered airplanes, I mean, just think, they're already closer to the sun. Mm -hmm. So they're taking in more solar anyways. They could just fly on up there, switch over to the electric engines, and just coast. Glide. And then when they're coming in for the landing, switch back to the gas engines. Mm -hmm. Or they could just stay electric the whole landing. We've got something here. I think we're on to something we are. terribly dangerous. But man, if that worked, it'd be so cool. Think of all the gas you can save. Oh my gosh. Jet fuel is so expensive, but it they is. use so much fuel. How much is a gallon? It's expensive. That's how much it Oof. is. I don't actually know because gas prices have come down so much that I don't know what prices are anymore. I gotcha. But um, they use a lot of fuel, an airplane does. And like every pound is like just, I mean, more and more gallons mm. used per flight. So, I mean, that would be a huge, huge cost savings. Yes. But it would probably be a lot more maintenance, so we probably wouldn't see that on the consumer side of things. Mm -hmm. But still, how cool would that be? 
I think it'd, it'd be, be like, remember the Concorde, the supersonic jet? Yes. Yeah, it'd be like that, but cooler, but more cool. I think then the Concorde had problems. Oh, it was terrible. It was too long. It was terribly not safe. It, because it would dip too much. It was the super back. unreliable. Yeah, yeah. I mean, just it wasn't safe. But they were so cool. We got that sonic boom. I'm so mad I didn't get a going one. Wow. I would have flown to Europe to fly in one. Why? Now I have no reason to go to Europe. No. Sorry, Europe. Except that pizza. Um, Italy. I guess so. Yeah, we do that. Sorry, Europe. You're cool, but... I just... Yeah. I don't know why I would visit. See Big Ben? Yeah. There's I don't clocks know. everywhere. Clocks are everywhere. You know I'd what? rather go to Asia first. You know what game you should pick up? What game should I pick up? Let's play Flight Simulator soon. Dude, how great was Flight Simulator? 2000 Flight, Flight Simulator, Simulator 2000. 2000 was the best. You can get a Millennium Falcon. Right? Amazing. And you could go like 999 miles per hour. It was awesome. You could also fly a blimp. Yes. There was a mod that was like a motorcycle. You could just drive around the map instead of fly. Oh that game gosh. was great. It is great. I, I, I hate that they don't make flight sim anymore. I don't think I have a 2000 anymore. I, I probably still have a disc somewhere. Somewhere. I don't know if it's still run though anymore on any computers. Yeah, we'd have to see. They did make a new flight sim that came out on Steam. That was like mm. flight sim something. We can, okay. We can probably buy a... What, uh, what I would computer? downgrade to XP. I make a virtual machine inside what? my computer running XP. Would an XP work? Yeah, XP is else? what I was running in 2000, flight sim 2000 on. Okay, so we would, or you can just buy a computer for very cheap. Yeah, and there's a lot of things you could do. That yeah. game is so great. Though. I still have a computer that runs XP. Uh, I would buy like, a new a, flight simulator. We're not using it right now. Maybe we should have a Let's Play Flight Sim 2000. I'll, I'll I don't have a joystick computer. anymore though. Oh man, I might somewhere. We can find it somewhere. I just have my mouse and keyboard now. Okay. Oh, that'd be so cool. Yes. You know what else is cool? What's that? Pluto. Dude, I am excited. How cool are those pictures from Though, Pluto? They're amazing. Amazing. Did you amazing. see the one with Pluto on it? Yes. That was the best. That was the best one. Okay. All the pictures were the best ones. Yes. I, so here's the thing. So pretty. When I was younger, uh, a lot of years ago, mm -hmm. my goal was to go to Pluto. That's what I wanted to do with my life. And they were like, nope, can never be done. It'll take too long to get there. Well, guess what? New Horizons did it in 10 years. So that's cool. So, how long would it take a person to get there, do you think? Mm. Do you think a person could do it in 10 years? Possibly. I don't know. I think he could. New Horizons was able to do it. Why couldn't I do it? Well, they got better pictures than the Hubble. Dude, how good were those pictures? Well, the Amazing. Hubble was a lot of miles away. Yeah. Like, what did it say? Like, 3 billion? 3 billion. Yeah, that's a lot of miles to exactly. make a picture. And how many of us grew up that Pluto was a planet? How many of us still believe that Pluto is still a planet? There you have it, folks. To us, it's still a planet. That's how we grew up. Nine planets. Always. Remember the saying? What was it? Uh, oh, man. Uh, something about buying pizza. And eating it. Now you can't buy the pizza. I, I don't remember. I actually never used that because I just knew the plants. So I never had to remember that thing. But uh, yeah, the pictures of Pluto, if you haven't seen them, are really cool. Uh, New Horizons finally got there, launched over nine years ago. I uh, got some really cool pictures of it up close. And I sent back some pictures of some of the moons. One of them was real pixely mm -hmm. still, so that was weird. Um, Is it on its way back? No, it's staying out there. For how long? Forever. It's was, never coming back. Was it able to get pictures of other planets as well? It possibly? got some pictures of Jupiter on the way by. They okay. were pretty cool. Um, but that would have been uh, years ago at this mm -hmm. point. But uh, did you see the picture where they've got the ice mountains that are tall as like the Rocky yes. Mountains? That was cool. The dark spot that they called Mordor on top of it, that was pretty funny because they're going to Mordor. Mm -hmm. That was hilarious. How do you think, Jared? Here's the weirdest thing about this. Pluto is supposed to be blue. Mm -hmm. And those pictures were not blue. No, it was very brown. Very brown and yellow like and orange. Jupiter kind of brown. Yeah. Not Venus brown, but like Jupiter. Yes. Or maybe, no, Jupiter. Jupiter, mm -hmm. it looked almost exactly like the Jupiter, which mm -hmm. is just really small. Uh, kind of disappointing. Really? Until I got those close-ups of the ice mountains. Mm -hmm. Those were icy. But there was a very small portion. So, I don't know. Pluto's cool. Kind of sad it's not just a big block of ice. But that's cool for Pluto, because they still aren't going to make it a planet, though. Yeah. 
So poor Pluto, we found you. You're bigger than we thought, but yet smaller than we thought. And you're still a dwarf planet. You're still a planet in my heart. And we are still talking about you. You probably have, hold the biggest uh, talked about, mo most talked about you're planet. the most talked about planet other than Earth and Mars. Yes. I think Mars probably hasn't beat. Yes. Sorry. So, but still. But considering you're 3 billion miles away, that's pretty impressive. You've ranked 3 out of 9. And that's good in my books. That's very good, considering you're 3 billion miles away. But it's Pluto. How cool is Pluto? Pluto's always been cool. I still want to go to Pluto now. Mm -hmm. We're there. I want to be there now. Rachel, we're going to Pluto. Yeah, good luck with that. Sounds like a win. Alright. Chris... Comic-Con happened. Yes, it We kind of talked about it a little bit. Mm. What was uh, your favorite thing from Comic-Con? I actually have been very busy. So okay. you're going to have to recap everything. So nothing. Not really. Well, my favorite thing from Comic-Con, of course, is Star Wars. Of course. Because it's Star Wars. But, you know, the Batman for Superman trailer was pretty mm -hmm. good. The Suicide Squad trailer was pretty good. We did run over these. Yeah, so, I mean, there was some good stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, did you see the Star Wars after their um, panel? They took everyone to a concert. Really? They played Star Wars music. And when they played the Trench Run music, when they got to the part of the Trench Run music where the Death Star exploded, there was fireworks. Ooh. Yeah, pretty cool stuff. So. We need to go. We need to do something. I know. We need to plan it. We, we need to go to Pluto first. Yeah. Or right, maybe we should go to Comic Con first. I think we should go to Comic Con, but tickets probably sell out for a couple of years. Yeah, we'll, and we'll check. I don't really uh, know how fast they sell out, but it is fast. I don't have a, I don't have a costume. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, you're somebody out. Man, man. Well, Chris, it's a short second half. Yeah. Oh, Chris, there's one more thing we need to talk about before that? we go. A few years ago, this little movie came out called Sharknado. Oh, man. Did you see Sharknado? I never did. Well, let me tell you what. The first one was actually a pretty good movie. Pretty enjoyable. It wasn't a good movie. It was a very enjoyable movie, uh -huh. though. The second one... No good. I'm shaking my head, and I realize the people in the audio cannot hear me shaking no. my head. So, no. The second one was not so good. But, Chris, they're making a third one, and guess what? It comes out next Wednesday. Oh, man. Chris, are you going to watch Sharknado 3 with no, me and Rachel? I probably will not. Why? Wait, is it on Wednesday? Yeah. Shoot, what time? Nine. Now, here's the thing. I don't have okay. cable, so I have to get done, and then I have to get over to my parents' house. Ooh, okay. Yeah. I gotcha. So we would have to be finishing up right now next week, okay. which normally we are. We just yeah. started late today. Yeah, well, I'll get here early. We'll get started at 7 no, we'll, we'll get started on time next week, yeah. and we'll be fine. But you're not going to come watch Sharknado 3? I'll think about it. Yeah, you don't have to. I mean, I get it. It's kind of a stupid movie. Mm -hmm. It really is. But it's, 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 the first one was fun. And then we saw Rift Tracks do it. Mm -hmm. So it's just kind of a thing we do. You know, we watch I got gotcha. you. You know. Uh, Rachel loves Jaws. That's her favorite movie. Then Jurassic Park. And then I think Sharknado. Okay. That's no, Sharknado. It's really not that hot. Okay. Yeah, yeah. That would be ridiculous. But Jaws really is her favorite yeah. movie, though. So she loves sharks. So. When she saw it, she was like, we got to watch this. Oh, and the first, like I said, the first one was enjoyable. Mm -hmm. The second one was awful. The second one it's was... It's always the second movie. Just, uh, it's always the second they movie. They tried too hard to outdo mm -hmm. the first one, which this one is going to try too hard to outdo also, but at this point now, it's just like, okay, this is just stupid, mm -hmm. so it's going to be enjoyable. Yeah. So that's the point. I don't know what just happened. Everything on black. Oh, I bet you the rope slid in front. No. Do you think the rope slid in front of the camera? I don't know. I don't think so. I think we should No, be I can still see it. We're good. I don't know. Okay, Chris. Where on the internet can we find you if we wanted to follow Whoa. you throughout the week? Uh, let me check here for it. I am on Twitter. I, I've been tweeting a lot lately. Oh, you have been tweeting mm -hmm. a lot lately. So, uh, I'm on Twitter at Never Lose Heart. That's all one word. Um, I'm on Vine. You can probably find that through my Twitter channel. Uh, I'm on Instagram. It's fight underscore with underscore heart. Uh, I'm not, I mean, Facebook is on there. I don't, I don't get on Facebook very often. Um, but that's about it. I'll so on Twitter, it. Instagram. Yeah. And you can find my Vine through my Twitter. Do you have Pinterest? I do, but I don't use it. No? Okay. I don't like it. Well, you know where you can find me on the internet? Go to twitter.com slash James Walter. Easy. Easy. You know why you go there? Because that's where all the good stuff is. Mm -hmm. Also, on Facebook, 
don't really post that much on Facebook, except know. for what I tweet. So you're easy. You're better just to follow me on Twitter. On Twitter, yeah. Because you'll see everything anyways. Mm -hmm. Except for the occasional time I like post like a really long post about like music. But yeah, you're not missing anything then. Nope. You can find the Weekly Flare though. That's what you want to find. Go to theweeklyflare.com and you'll find everything there. There's links for our Twitter, our Facebook, our Instagram. There's all the podcasts, the show notes. The bios. The bios, the abouts. All the stuff that you care about. There's a contact us form, that's still there. We had the YouTube videos linked right on there. My plugin died, so now it's just a link to the YouTube channel, okay. but that's okay. You can figure it out if you want YouTube. It's pretty easy to find us. And that is our show, Chris. Yes. Yes. Before we go. Yes, before we go. We need to tip our hats to the to president. Mr. Iwata. Yes. Nintendo's president passed away on Sunday at 55 years old. And he was a legend among gaming. Yes, he was. And we wanted to end our show as a tribute to Mr. Iwata. Thank you, sir, for just everything you've done, starting in Howl Laboratories with Kirby and Earthbound, and just pushing out so many amazing ideas that uh, a lot of people really enjoyed and appreciate. And pretty much everyone on the media has been talking about you, just how amazing you are. Not that you can watch this right now, but for everyone watching, we just want to let you know that um, he was an amazing person and he will be missed by the gaming community and just by everybody, basically, mm -hmm. the new one. Yes. So, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys again next week. Peace.